Watu wa Marine Kenya kwanza Watu wa Marine Kenya kwanza Watu wa Marine Kenya kwanza Kila mtu kila mtu Kila mtu kila mtu Kenya kwanza Utumita Kenya Shukuria shukuria Kenya kwanza Mama Ana Aya Aya Baringo hamjambo Baringo hamjambo Baringo bwana asifiwe Baringo jamge Omune Baringo bwana yesu asifiwe Hey, na wana mkochonjo mbaya sana Salala Mimi ni mekuja baringo mara nyingi Lakini sijaona hii Yari baringo kime umana kiasi hii Mumayamua Mimi na wauliza Simunajua kuna majamaa kule Nairobi Ati kwa maoteli makubwa makubwa na maofisi makubwa makubwa ati wanatuambia ati watatupanga ati watatupangia nani atakuwa rais wa Kenya ati watatutafutia kibaraka wao watupange na awe rais wa Kenya inawezekana so nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnawaambiaje ati Baringo mnawaambiaje waulize ndugu zangu watu wa Baringo. Si mnaona Manueta yuko hapa? Si mnaona Madividi yuko hapa? Tumekubaliana kwa sababu umoja wa Kenya ndio muhimu. Tuunganishe chama ya UDA, ANC na Ford Kenya. Nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnakubaliana na sisi jameni? Unasema tuungane kama wa Kenya. Na tuwalete wa Kenya wengine waingiane pamoja na sisi. Ebu nione wala wanasema tuungane, 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 tuungane Jambo la pili Tumekubaliana Ya kwamba muungano wetu huu Sio muungano ili viongozi wapate faida ama vyeo ama mamlaka Muungano wetu huu Ni kwa sababu Taifa letu la Kenya liko njia panda na ni lazima tufanye maamuzi na ni lazima tuwe na sera na mpango ambayo itabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya na sababu hiyo tumesema mambo ya katiba na vyeo na mamlaka ya viongozi ingoje kwa sababu maneno ya muhimu kwa taifa letu la Kenya sasa ni maneno ya uchumi na tunataka tupange ili mambo ya uchumi tuanze na ajira ya vijana wetu zaidi ya milioni ine wamemaliza shule lakini hawana ajira na wauliza watu wa baringo nyinyi mnasema vile kitendawili ati mambo ni kubadilisha katiba tuongeze vyeo tuongeze mamlaka ya viongozi Muna kubali mambo ni kubadilisha uchumi? Muna daga tubadilisha uchumi ama vyeo? Muna daga tubadilisha uchumi ama katiba? Muna sema tubadilisha uchumi? Ebu ni wane wala wana sema tubadilisha uchumi? Tubadilisha uchumi? Jambo la pili 
nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi kwa sababu tumekubaliana tunataka tubadilishe uchumi tuko pamoja watu wa Baringo sisi tunasema agenda yetu namba one ni kubadilisha uchumi na agenda yetu namba one ni kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu wa Kenya vijana wa Baringo wapate ajira Agenda yetu namba mbili ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunapanga biashara ili kila mkenya hata kama biashara yake ni kidogo asiumize na fuliza asiangaishwe na mashairo tuweke pesa ya serikali katika biashara ya wananchi wa chini Agenda yetu ya ine ni kuweka pesa ya kutosha kwa kilimo ili tuhakikishe kwamba kila mkulima wa Kenya anapata nafasi ya kuongeza mapato yake kama ni ya maziwa, miwa, mambo ya kahawa, chai, kama ni sukari, kama ni mambo ya maziwa, kila mkulima aongeze mapato yake ndio awe na pesa mfukoni na tuwe na chakula ya kutosha tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tunakubaliana jambo letu la nne tumesema kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu wananchi wengi wanapata shida kwa sababu ya bei na mambo ya malipo ya matibabu tumesema mwaka huu kabla ya disemba tutahakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya ako na bima ya afya ya NHIF na kila mmoja wetu utaenda hospitalini utatibiwa na utaenda nyumbani bila ya kuulizwa pesa yoyote. Tunaelewana wangwana wa Baringo? Tunaelewana? Hapo ndio tuko. Mimi nawauliza watu wa Baringo, mtakubaliana na sisi tubadilishe uchumi jameni? Mnasema tupange uchumi. Ndio tupange ajira ya vijana wetu. Na tupange biashara yenu. Tuwaokoe kwa fuliza na mambo ya mashailo na tuwapangie kilimo tuondoe njaa na tuwapangie mambo ya universal health coverage kila mtu aenda hospitali na alipiwe na NHIF tunakubaliana hapo ndio mimi niko na maswali mawili peke yake watu wa Baringo swali ya kwanza mnasema tubadilishe katiba ama uchumi katiba ama uchumi wale wa uchumi nione kwa mkono jambo la pili tumekuwa tukiendesha uchumi model inaitwa trickle down ati watu wachache wanafaidika kule juu alafu wakifaidika kwa huruma wakuja waangalie wengine huko chini hawa wa chini wamengojea miaka hamsini wale waliofaidika juu hawajarudi hapa chini mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnataka tuendelee kungojea ile ya juu ama mnasema tupindue tuanze na huko chini Tupindue tuanze na huko chini. Tupindue tuanze na huko chini. Hapa chini. Ndio tupange ajira yao vijana kwanza. Na tupange kilimo kwanza. Na tupange matibabu kwanza. Mnasema tuanze chini. Hapa bottom. Alafu tuende up. Bottom alafu. Bottom. 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 Hebu nione baringo wala wanasema bottom up bottom up. Bottom. Tumekubaliana. Mimi nataka niwaulize jambo la mwisho. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Nimesikia wale watu wa kuzimia wanajaribu ati kunipatia lecture kuhusu mambo ya naibu wa rais wa Kenya. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa kuzimia please nyinyi watu ambao mlikuwa wa upinzani hamuna ruhusa yoyote hamuna moral authority yoyote kunipatia lecture kuhusu kazi ya naibu wa rais wa Kenya hii serikali ya jubilee ni mpango kati ya mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata na mimi sisi ndio tulitafuta hii serikali ya jubilee sio nyinyi you have no business giving me a lecture 
on a government that I formed with Uhuru Kenyatta. You are not there. You know nothing about this government. You know nothing about the agenda of this government. Unaelewana? Hawa watu wa upinzani hawajui hii serikali na mpango yake ilianza vipi. Kwa hivyo wawache kuniambia maneno kuhusu serikali. Hawa ni watu wa upinzani. Nyinyi kama mulishindwa na upinzani mpaka mkakuja mkakuwa vibaraka mkakuwa ni watu mabroka hata mkakuwa wezi mnaibia kule kemza hata watu ambao ni wagonjwa kwa sasa hizi mnatupatia leke ya serikali serikali mnajua ilitengenezwa lini na wapi so watu wa upinzani please you are a disgrace to the people of Kenya the people of Kenya gave you a job to do in the opposition to keep government in check instead you became lackeys you became brokers you became servants in and in the administration and you went ahead to steal from the people of Kenya today you want to give me a lecture about the government of Kenya I want to tell you the people of the opposition the former opposition shame on you kama mnashindwa na upinzani mtawezana na serikali kweli hawa wangwana kama wanashindwa na upinzani ndio serikali ndio wataweza nyinyi mmeshinda kucriticize peke yake sasa kupanga mpaka ikue barabara ndio wataweza so mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa upinzani please give us a break you failed miserably as the opposition you have no chance at all in being any form of government and i want to tell them the record of the jubilee administration william ruto knows everything because i was part of it because i i was in the midst and i was in the middle of it because I know what we were doing and the only people who have the capacity to carry forward that which succeeded and that which made sense to Kenya is this Kenya Kwanza movement you guys have no capacity whatsoever you did not form the government you also failed the opposition so you are generally failures sijui kama tunaelewana jameni Watu wa Baringo tunaelewana? Wangana wa Baringo tunaelewana? Hebu niwe wala wanasema tunaelewana. Mimi nataka niwaeleze watu wa Baringo. Sisi tukisimama hapa kama Kenya kwanza. Sisi tunawaambia mambo hii tulikuwa na mpango kamili. Mpango ya Big Four ambayo ilikuwa ndani yake na mpango ya ajira ya vijana ndani yake mambo ya matibabu ndani yake mambo ya kilimo lakini hiyo mpango imecheleweshwa miaka tano kwa sababu wale ambao wangekuwa upinzani walikuja wakasambaratisha ajenda yetu na wakalete rege na wakalete ukora na wakalete utapeli na wakokuja wakaanza wizi ndani ya serikali yetu kule Kemsa mimi nataka niwaambie we will not accept any further delay the year is 2022 the date is august 9 the big forward you have wasted enough of our time tunaelewana jameni watu wa kenya si mtaamua 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 we know there are characters there are people who want to hold this country hostage they they do not want us to have a plan on how young people can get jobs because they are used to servants they are used to young people helping them in political meetings helping them to do political brokerage and helping them to do violence we are telling them the young people of Kenya will be unavailable after 9th of August because we will plan for them what is meaningful for their lives Watu wa Baringo tunaelewana. Baringo tunaelewana. Na mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Baringo. 
Mimi nimekuwa naibu wa rais miaka tisa I know what I am saying. Katika Kenya hii kuna njama ya kufanya vijana wetu wakose ajira ndio wawe rahisi kutumika katika mambo ambayo inawafaa watu wachache. Katika Kenya hii kuna njama ya kuweka wakenya wengi kwa umaskini ili watu wachache waendelee kunawiri na waendelee kukalia wakenya wengine kwa sababu watu wakiwa maskini ni rahisi kuwa manipulate and i want to tell them we are going to unchain ourselves on 9th of august and kenya is going to be a free country where every citizen and their business and their families will count for something tunaelewana ndugu zetu tunaelewana watu wa baringo tumekubaliana mimi nataka mnionyeshe mkono kwamba tumekubaliana 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 sawa sawa mimi nataka nishukuru hawa viongozi nataka nimshukuru mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa mheshimiwa Dure Kindiki hawa viongozi wa kutoka mkoa wa Kati wamesimama kitete na wakenya wenzao kusema ya kwamba hawataki siasa ya ukabila hawataki siasa ya migawanyiko na leo tunasimama jukwa moja pamoja na Musalia pamoja na Weta pamoja na Duale pamoja na wakenya wengine tukisema Kenya hii haiwezi kurudi nyuma tena mahali ya mambo ya vita na mahali ya mambo ya siasa and i want to speak specifically to the people of Baringo hii Kerio Valley mnanisikia hapa Kerio Valley tuko na changamoto ya ukosefu wa usalama ni kweli ama si kweli i want to announce from Kabarnet ya kwamba Kerio Valley tutatengeneza Marshall plan ya Kerio Valley ambayo tutajenga dams hapa Radat tutaweka dam kule Lowat tutaweka dam kule Aror tutaweka dam kule Kimware tutaweka dam ili tuweze kuwa na ekari 1500 ama moja ya kuzalisha chakula hapa tuondoe umaskini ili vita iondoke katika Kerio Valley na mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile nilikuja hapa mbeleni na tukakomesha mambo ya mauaji na mambo ya vita mimi nataka niwaambie ya kwamba hiyo vita inaendelea pale kuna watu wanataka hii Kerio Valley ibaki nyuma ili watu wa kwame wakipigana na mambo ya umaskini na kuibiana ngombe we are going to stop that nonsense because we want to change the destiny of the people of Kerio Valley from Baringo Elgeyo Marakwet Turkana mpaka Samburu na watoto wao wasome kama watoto wengine wa taifa letu la Kenya watu wa Baringo tunaelewana Baringo tunaelewana mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa na mimi nafurahi zaidi ya kwamba inadhihirika wazi ya kwamba Baringo mumeamua nimekuja hapa mara nyingi lakini sitaona mkutano mkubwa kama huu asanteni sana Baringo kwa kutuamini nikisema arambe tunasema Kenya kwanza arambe arambe nikisema Kenya kwanza tunasema kazi ni kazi Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza mimi niko na viongozi wengi hapa na sitaki niondoke hapa kabla sijawaonyesha viongozi mimi najua tuko hapa na wangwana wanatafuta kiti ya gabana wale wanatafuta kiti ya gabana kujeni hapa ndugu zangu mimi nawaomba watu wa Baringo katika hii siasa tunataka kusame amani tunaelewana hatutaki siasa ya makelele hatutaki siasa ya fujo tunataka siasa ya ungwana hapa tuko na Professor Fred Sikor. Tumunajua anatafuta kiti ya gavana. Tumutampanga. Hapa tuko na Mheshimiwa Moses Lesonet. Tumunajua anatafuta kiti ya gavana. Tumutampanga. Hapa ni CBA Richard. 
kwa eti si unajua anatafuta kitu ya governor si mtampanga chepalum jofri anatafuta kitu ya governor si mtampanga hapa tuko na bwana chepoi anatafuta kitu ya governor si nyinyi ndio kupanga hapa tuko na mama ambaye anatafuta kiti ya women rep mrs chesina si nyinyi ndio kusema hapa tuko na Rebecca Lomon anatafuta kiti ya women rep si mtampanga